Hello, Rock Fam! It's your beautiful boy, Rocky Mess, here with a very special guest of mine, Tinker Toys. You'll see him in his review later on on this topic. Now, you may ask, Rock, I thought you said you were going to do the intro review next. What happened? Well, dear viewer, I have a good excuse for you. I'm not going to do it. Well, I'm not not going to do it. It's going to happen eventually, but for now, we're going to put the Undertale view on the sideline. Also, because I'll do so much more research for that, and it may be an hour-long video. So, yeah, just give me time. It'll come eventually. Alright, enough of that. Now, let's get to what you came here for. So, you read the title from my Overwatch review. Now, I have something to say about this game. I put it a good few times through the years. I'm familiar with the story aspect of it through though but I'm not gonna try my best I'm gonna try my best to give you the best view I can now what is overwatch I'll tell you overwatch is a colorful team based action game starring a diverse cast of powerful heroes travel the world build teams and contest objectives and exhilarating 6v6 combat it's not that brand new in a gaming style. There's multiple games like it, like the famous one Team Fortress 2, which is shared a lot of equalities in. But we'll get to that later. Don't worry about his children. We'll get to it. Now let's get to the story. The story, the story takes place is um, well, the world could always use more heroes. Overall, it takes place on a near future, near future Earth. Sometime in the mid 2070s, some 30 years before robots turned against humanity in what became known as the Omnic Crisis. Now, the Omnic Crisis was the event that threatened the stability of the entire world. While Blizzard hasn't revealed the actual cause of the crisis, we know that the world Ominous began producing hostile Omnics. All at once, each ominous independently started producing violent robots. Many of them being Bastion units. I love Bastion. Also, fun fact! The, the Omnic Crisis was made up on the spot as development Overwatch was carried out. Rather than being pre-planned lore, it has indicated that Blizzard wants to keep details of the Omnic Crisis vague in order to allow fan base to develop their own theories. Which I like. I like doing that. Oh, excuse me. For what we know from the story is that according to the details, one can deduce that the Omni Crisis started around 2044 and 2046. In Orias, I'm a butcher this. In bio, it is stated that from the end of the war until the game's present day, when OR15 program started and Orisus was made. It had been approximately 20 years. It means that the Omnic Crisis has been lasted for 10 long years. Now, I believe that's where Soldier 76 comes into play, being the former leader and then turned vigilante? But that's where I really lose connection with the story. Now, let's get to the TF2 side of things. Now, TF2 is the most well-known game for PC. It's free and overall a super enjoyable game. And I love playing it. Now, I'm not the one who thought of how similar this game is to TF2 when I first played it. Because honestly, I think they took inspiration from the game. The mechanics, the team-based system, and even capturing an item. Does it make it a bad game? No! In my opinion, Overwatch is an overall good game. Would I play it nowadays? To be honest, no. Because it's not my type of game anymore. I would rather play TF2, a somewhat interesting game, with a better story. Now, enough enough of me. Let's get to my good friend Tinker Toys. You have the stage, my friend. And I'll see you guys at the end of the video. Overwatch. Uh, look, I'm gonna be brutally honest with you. I don't like this damn game to begin with. Are the characters interesting? 
<laughs> yeah. Is the gameplay enjoyable? Somewhat. And you do get times where you get them play the game moments. But there's one thing missing that makes Overwatch not only completely soulless, but also not a fun game to play to begin with. For me, that is the fun factor or identity that are missing for me. Let's take a look at a game that's not only better than Overwatch, but also a game you could play free right now on your PC. And that would be Team Fortress 2. Yeah, real shocker for the title of this video, huh? While these two could be somewhat classified as different genres, they are still the same game in heart. You go around a medium large map as offensive, defensive, and or support, and try to beat the opposite team in all sorts of objectives, like capture the flag or king of the hill. So what makes Team Fortress, a game created in 2008, a more superior game to a AAA behemoth created by a gigantic corporation that also mistreats their workers? That, my friends, would be the sole gameplay and identity of the entire thing. If you ever played Overwatch, do you remember just enjoying the fucking game? Even if you're losing or constantly dying, do you at least enjoy the game with other people? Of course not, because all these matches are all the same way and play the exact same way. And when you find your main character in Overwatch, you don't fuck around with any other characters because they're all completely different from their abilities to the fact that they just use different weapons that are way more confusing. TF2, on the other hand, is just unique in a way where you can play a character and quickly pick them up on what they do and how to play as them, leading to a lot of moments where you can feel proud of getting that kill or even landing that shot to begin with. Let's look at Tracer for example. You got two pistols which rapidly fire all over the place, and while fragile, you can run faster than all classes, with a few exceptions. Seems easy, right? Well, you got two abilities, one for dashing and one for reversing. You can dash three times until cooldown, and you can reverse yourself back in position. However, that also has overtime, and not to mention you can set yourself up for death from enemies. Same goes for dashing. You also got an ultimate, where you have to throw it and stick it to something for it to explode, and god knows if that's even gonna kill anybody. Alright, now let's take a look at Scout. The Tracer of Team Fortress 2, as we all know. I wanna be Tracer! You have a scatter gun, pistol, and bat you can kill people with. And while you're the fragile one amongst the entire team, you can double jump and run quicker than all the other characters, aside from a few exceptions. And that's literally it. See how simple that shit was? Would you like to play a game where all characters require a lecture? Or a game where you can pick up and easily learn, but with enough time you can master your craft, being able to main as them, and even multiple characters if you're lucky? You tell me what's the right one. And if you say Overwatch, I swear to god- But overall, TF2 is a way more enjoyable and fun experience than what Overwatch has to offer. When it comes to simplistic yet chaotic gameplay, easy to learn yet hard to master classes, and a variety of game mods, official and non-official, that makes Overwatch look barren. This has been my TED Talk, and I'd like to thank Rocket Mouse for actually having me. Was pretty shocked how he wanted to collaborate with me, but I'm gonna take all the chances I need. Thank you again to Tinker. Thank you again for coming along and helping with this video. God knows I'm gonna build you by myself. Guys, I'll have his channel linked below. Go check him out, subscribe. He's good at what he does. Well, that was his video. I hope you liked it. Please follow that with a like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell button for notifications, and I will see you next video. Maybe the Ontario View, not sure.